never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Hey my sweet ones Today's video is short and sweet It is a nighttime reset Um, but I fully didn't get to fully reset Like the main, you know, the kitchen and living room I just mainly got the kitchen reset Which honestly is a big part <laughs> Like that is where the my, our main clutter is, is our kitchen. Because our counters is a catch-all for literally everything. It's an absolute catch-all. So, I just wanted to get all that cleaned off. Put everything back where it's supposed to go. Because, you know, usually we'll get something out. And instead of putting it back, we're, we are really all bad for just putting it back on the counter. So... We are just, we need to start doing better, but in all honesty, it's just the catch-all space, and to be, I mean, it's not, it's not going to kill me to clean it up, so it doesn't really bother me, it, it doesn't bother me whatsoever, so I don't mind it, but the bag of cereal spilled out, my son was wanting to do it himself, and of course, I'm going to let him try, I'm not going to be like too you can't do it, let me do it. So, he wanted to try it. He did, tried it and he spilled cereal all over the counter, which is okay, of course, because I'm going to clean it up. And before anybody says, well, why didn't you let him clean it up? If he was to try and sweep all that off onto a plate, it would have gotten all over the floor. So, why not just do it myself? Trust me, I didn't. It did not bother me, hurt me, kill me, or anything to do that for him. But if you're new here, my name is Casey and I'm a stay-at-home mom. Stay-at-home mom of three children. And I do, we live in a mobile home. And I do, my channel's here, there, every, a little bit of everything. It's all over the place, to be honest. <laughs> Which is completely okay. So, we moved on to here to the dishwasher. So, the dishes that are on the counter... They are clean. I actually got those out of the dishwasher, but I had to hurry up and put them on there because I wanted to get the dishes out of the sink into the dishwasher. And my daughter was not, I didn't want her to touch like the nasty dishes. So I just threw everything, all the clean ones on the counter and got all the, you know, the dirty ones and put them all in the dishwasher. And so what I was trying to do and have been doing is throughout the day put the dirty dishes into the dishwasher that way it doesn't overcrowd the sink if i wait until the afternoon just go ahead and do it all at once you know not all at once throughout the day periodically and i actually really enjoy doing like the nighttime reset because it gives me i don't how can i say this i have to do it fast so in my head i have to do it fast because it's nighttime i don't know that's just the way my brain had told me. You know, it's not time, so you got to do it really fast. And I actually enjoyed it. It was like a little competition to myself. I don't know, but I enjoyed it. So, it's like putting the bed. I said it the other day, and I've said it wrong again. It's like putting the house to sleep and waking up to a fresh, clean kitchen. Y'all, it was magical. <laughs> Someone had recently asked me, and I just wanted to address this in case anybody else had thought about it, just have not asked. Someone asked me, where is my dining room table? And we had a dining room table. If you go back videos ago, we had a dining room table. It was a white one, and it was a four-seater circle. Well, it was my grandparents. They let me use it until they needed it back. They had, like, a giant table because that's where we would go for Sunday dinners or Sunday lunches and holidays and stuff we would all go to my grandparents house and with my grandpa when he was sick um it was really you couldn't really go over there because of the noise so I she my grandma sold her table and her table was too big for our area we actually have a really tiny um little dining area so the table that she had was going to be way too big so I decided just to give her her table back so they'll have somewhere to eat because we really didn't use it and it was white and my kids had stained it up so I had to go back and watch I scrubbed the heck out of that table to try and get it 
clean um, from being so stained. But I do know what kind of table I want. I know exactly what I want in my head. But it's trying to find that is the hard part. I want the oval, the oval table with the leaf. But I don't want the one with the four legs. I want it to have a center. Um, I don't want the four legs. I want the center. So I know exactly what I want. It's not going to like match because I want to redo the table into like a color in my head <laughs> that I have in my brain. Um, but I know what I want. I just have not found it. Or if I have found it, like second, people are asking like way too much money for it. Um, you got people, I've been on Facebook Marketplace and I've seen a table similar to it, to what I want. And people are asking like $1,000 just for the table and it's all beat up, scratched up. And I'm like, you know, no, sorry. That's ridiculous to me. <laughs> but I know what I want. I just haven't. And plus, you know, on the, the bright side, I'm not having one right now. It's crowded. My dining area is small. It's crowded. It's full of stuff. And we got to move. My laundry room's full of stuff as well. It needs to be cleaned. And then we're going to move the freezer, the deep freezer into the laundry room. So, it's probably best for us not to have one right now. My kids eat at the, the countertop or the island. Um, and most of the time when I eat, I eat standing up because I'm either holding my daughter and feeding her. Or it's just easier for me to eat standing up because they'll need something. And instead of having to get up and down, up and down, I just stand at the counter and eat that way. <laughs> but here I just used baking soda, sprinkled it all around my sink with some soap and just scrubbed it down because it makes like a paste. So I just wanted to scrub it down. So I just scrubbed my sink down in that. I always scrub my sink down like this. Ow, you and usually, or most of the time, after I get done scrubbing my sink down and rinsing it out, I'll redo the baking soda in the drain part and put vinegar in it and like it'll foam up what it does i'm not sure but it seems like it cleans it because of foam i don't know <laughs> i don't know but this is just what i do and it you know gives me a peace of mind that it's clean and i'll be completely honest i want to actually go through all my sinks and do this because i don't know maybe it gives it like a good smell i don't know what it does i think it does clean it but yeah but i will say this I am absolutely loving my kitchen being decluttered. The only thing left that I really need to declutter will be the medicine cabinet. That cabinet is maxed out to the fullest. Like, it on, like I have to go through it and get rid of a lot of that stuff in there. I'm like a medicine hoarder. I'll get it and just throw it in the cabinet and never touch it again. So, I honestly need to go through there and clean it out. But I just wanted to give all my countertops a really good clean with the Clorox wipes. Or the Lysol or Clorox wipes. I'm not sure which ones. But I just wanted to give the countertops a good wipe down and clean. And can y'all believe that my kitchen island is completely clear and decluttered? Absolutely love it. <laughs> I'm going out with you tonight Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down, I don't know why I know it's so surreal Think I want you here oh.
loving the way the kitchen has turned out. And I also want to thank you guys for being here, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.